Uh, so Yeva's been over in Hamble for the last sort of week, um, having some work done. She's had all of her Raymarine equipment updated. I want to say a huge, huge thank you to Raymarine for the support on that. It's been awesome. Uh, so new depth sander, uh, new chart plotter, new instruments. Um, and next week we'll be putting the Cam 300 at the top of the mast as well. So that's all super cool. She's also had her new companionway hatch fitted. Uh, there's just a little bit of tweaking left to do with that to make it perfect. Uh, so once it is perfect, I will show you guys a video of that process. And now I'm just taking her back over to Hasla Marina where it is the big birth holders weekend. Um, so there'll be a charity fundraiser for the Andrew Simpson Foundation tonight. And super excited to get to that and um, you know, meet some more of the birth holders in Hasla, take you over home. Uh, show her off and then over the next week or so more equipment being installed and training sails getting out on the water anytime that I haven't got a contractor on the boat uh, so yeah let me just show you the view as I head out of the river There's not a hint of a breeze out here this morning so we're not even going to bother putting the sails up what I want to test on the way back to Hazlitt today is the new autopilot, uh, make sure that that's all happy and working, and um, the steering inside as well. So, yeah, we we'll potter back over to Hazlitt under engine, testing out some of that new kit. It should be nice. Okay, so this is pretty awesome. We've got the autopilot driving the boat for the first time ever, which gives me the freedom to move around, keep an eye on things. And um, if I go downstairs to the chart plotter, I can control the autopilot from down here as well, or I can disengage the autopilot and I can steer for the very first time on the ship down down here, which is super, super cool. Got nice panoramic view through every window and off the back and then uh, that's where I can steer from Nearly at Portsmouth. Still no wind. 